All right, so the hose is pretty leaky. I just saw one at a garage sale I could have got for a few bucks. But I can tape this one up. I should be able to tape a lot of that out. But I don't think the pump will pulse when it doesn't have that little leak. If I can completely shut the water off here at the this unit, the pump should stop itself at 55. I guess there's a dial on there too that I can adjust so it doesn't pulse. So anyways, I gotta seal up the hose. It seems like the water, I actually got it hot enough to burn me, but it was not quite all the way to max. When I went all the way to the max, I don't know if it, the flame shut itself off or what. You can see how you can see the flame in there, which will be nice to be able to tell if it's on or if I'm just spewing propane. So I filled up the black water tank all the way. It overflowed down there. Right underneath where it connects to the toilet, it can overflow, which is what I want, because that'll give me an air vent. And then the shower works great. So I guess I shut off the gas now. Then I can go outside and shut it off at the tank as well. There's the valve if I wanted to let all the water out of the black water tank that I made, but I'm not going to do that because I want to see how it does bouncing around. What else do I got going on? That's how I'll, I'll fill the toilet bowl and flush the toilet bowl with that, I guess. Hopefully I can get it to where when the pump's on, it actually shuts itself off under pressure. And then I don't have to turn the pump on every time I want to use the water. The tanks... The tank system is doing pretty good. They just leveled out. This one filled up a lot faster, so I had to stop the intake. And I'll try filling them up a bit more. I got... This is the fill hose. So it fills that tank and then that tank fills that tank via that coil of garden hose right there. I was pretty happy with the pressure on the 55 pound. I think it's 55. Somewhere between 55 and 80. Maybe. It was good pressure. We'll see what it does to the batteries. But overall, it was a good first test.